Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to everyone. Uh, firstly, selamat tahun baru. Uh, I hope you have a good tahun baru. For us, dalam Pakatan Harapan, tahun baru ini mempunyai makna yang lebih daripada tahun-tahun yang lepas kerana pada tahun ini jika Najib berani mengadakan pilihan raya inilah tahunnya yang dia perlu ada pilihan raya dan kita di sini bukan berhajat untuk membantah, membangkang saja kita mempunyai plan untuk mengatasi masalah-masalah apabila kita mengambil alih Uh, kerajaan uh, Malaysia uh, kita uh, tahu bahawa dahulu parti-parti pembangkang gagal untuk merebut kuasa sebabnya kerana mereka uh, tidak bersatu tidak dapat mengadakan satu gabungan dan kalau diadakan pun Uh, tidak uh, tegap tidak uh, really operational uh, habis-habis baiklah semasa mereka mengadakan pakatan rakyat uh, tetapi kita tahu pakatan rakyat ini tidak dapat bertanding sebagai satu pakatan satu coalition kerana seperti biasa Pemerintah tidak membenarkan mereka mempunyai satu logo, satu simbol untuk pilihan raya. Mereka bertanding mengikut dengan menggunakan simbol masing-masing. Namun demikian, Pakatan Rakyat berjaya mendapat sokongan majoriti penduduk Malaysia, 52%. Uh, kali ini kita punya gabungan lebih kemas uh, for the first time we have a proper coalition uh, demikianlah kuatnya coalition ini sehingga dia menakutkan kerajaan Dan kerajaan sedang berusaha sedaya upaya melalui cara-cara yang tidak halal untuk menghalang Uh, coalition ini daripada didaftar dan mengguna logo ataupun simbol yang satu bagi uh, Pakatan Harapan inilah cara uh, kerajaan yang ada sekarang ini uh, mereka menyalahgunakan kuasa apabila mereka berada dalam ketakutan namun demikian kita mempunyai perancangan kita dan kita akan mengatasi segala masalah yang di merintangi perjuangan kita dan kita mempunyai bukan sahaja solution terhadap perkara-perkara yang memburukkan negara yang telah dilakukan oleh Najib khususnya apa yang dilakukan dengan wang 1MDB hutang yang tak dapat dibayar hutang yang terlalu banyak sehingga akan melibatkan pembayaran berpuluh-puluh tahun dan mungkin juga ada kalanya kita tak dapat bayar dan kita terdedah kepada kemungkinan menjadi muflis we can become bankrupt we have a plan because we can't explain to you exactly what our plans are but uh, we have a plan how to deal with the problems created by Najib including his selling uh, bits and pieces of this country to other people but beyond that we know how to we have plans on how to revive the economy revive the strength of the ringgit and also to uh, go back towards rebuilding this country as you know Najib has launched uh, TN50. Uh, TN50 is an admission that they have failed to uh, complete the uh, Wawasan 2020. 
But the N50 is a fair copy of Wawasan 2020. And the admission is that they need another 32 years before they can accomplish. Uh, but they're trying to divert attention daripada Wawasan 2020 kepada TN30 uh, yang mana Najib tentu tahu uh, dia tidak akan jadi Perdana Menteri pada masa ketika itu. Itulah sebabnya yang diletakkan uh, TN ini 30 tahun daripada 30 tahun lebih daripada sekarang. Tetapi kita mempunyai cara-cara uh, untuk menjayakan wawasan 2020 mungkin terlewat sedikit kerana kita kehilangan hampir uh, uh, 9 tahun uh, tidak uh, ada usaha untuk melaksanakan plan kita for the 20, for 2020 but I, I don't want to go on too far because I think you may want to ask question you are welcome to ask any question I'm not going to say no to your question. Even nasty question you can ask. And I'm sorry if I become equally not nasty in my reply. See, but you're welcome. Thank you. <coughs> yeah, tahun ini tahun pilihan raya. Dan kita perlu update policy kita mengikut perkembangan politik di dalam negara kita ini seperti mana kita tahu tiap-tiap saat almost beka, perkara bertukar macam-macam perkara baru yang kita tidak sangka berlaku umpamanya mereka lancarkan apa nama imam pagi lancar, petang, patah ini menunjuk betapa apa nama tidak cekapnya Kerana ini dibincang dalam kabinet dan diperkenalkan ke, ke, kepada parlimen tetapi tak fikir mendalam sebab itu mereka terpaksa batal bau-bau ni tentang Felda pula tanah Felda jelas dicuri dijual tanpa diketahui dan kita tak tahu duit tu sampai ke, kepada siapa every second almost Najib is going to make a lot of mistakes and we are here to comment on those mistakes that is why kita lancar uh, harapan baru this the new hope for the country and uh, believe me we have a lot to contribute towards fulfilling the hope of the people of Malaysia so uh, what recently uh, Dr. Sri Anwar he uh, handed in the application for the federal court to give back the point yang di Pertuan Agung's power mm. that uh, in 1994 that had taken away the power is this one of the policies uh, that you are talking about? Yeah. We had not discussed this matter but we want to know from him uh, the reason why he wants to do that and if it is uh, something compatible Dengan perjuangan Pakatan Harapan We will adopt it Okey, PPP ni dah selesaikan DGM dan DEP pun dah selesaikan pemikiran Jadi ada lagi tak yang menghalang Untuk uh, registration Pakatan Harapan? Sebenarnya tak ada Halangan langsung Semua yang nak di dikendaki Telah kita beri Dan apabila mereka kata ada ma Masalah DAP PPBM Bagi tahu apa dia masalah Dan kita boleh betulkan We stand to be corrected Kita bukan nak menentang kerajaan Kita nak supaya kerajaan berani Mendaftarkan Ini cara kotor Tak berani lawan Lepas itu salah guna kuasa kerajaan Dengan cara yang cukup unik Bukan kata tak, tak Bukan kata tak boleh didaftar Cuma tak jawab Antar suara reminder pun tak jawab Jadi kita nak kata dia tak Dia tolak pun tak boleh Dia, ber, dia lulus pun tak boleh Kerana dia tak jawab ha, Tapi buat ucapan Di sana sini Tak berani nak jawab ha, Inilah kerajaan bacul 
question. Is there any reason why you choose uh, Wednesday? Is it because uh, uh, the government ha having a uh, cabinet meeting Wednesday? So <laughs> not because of that. But you know where the cabinet meeting is held on Wednesday? It is in midweek. Midweek means people who have gone for to some places would have come back, and they would not have left for the uh, some holiday or other. Okay. Midweek is when everybody is in town. So it's the same with us. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, you are the uh, Pakatan Harapan's uh, chairperson. I mean, when you I mean organize the uh, policy talk this way, are you if, if off unofficially uh, declare your position as a future or uh, prospective uh, prime minister? No, bukan but so I'll prime minister. So I'll say chairman. Chairman ada uh, perkelonggaran sedikit untuk uh, men menjawab soalan-soalan dan mungkin mengisytiharkan sesuatu we, we are in a in a position to answer question otherwise why should I be the chairman if I can't even answer question and, and then, uh, it, is, it is reported that uh, three parties out of uh, four parties uh, Pakatan Harapan wanted you as uh, uh, to be a pro to be the future prime minister. Is it okay with you, or do you do you no, I stand that, uh, I stand by the decision of all the four parties. So uh, I mean, so far you expect any problem from PKR side? I don't know. I don't know because uh, they haven't not. Not told me anything. Will will your uh, I mean this decision be announced in the Pakatan Harapan Convention on January seventh? Uh, no, the, I, I cannot say because we have not decided. Maybe yet, tomorrow is the fourth, and we are having uh, a meeting of uh, Pakatan Harapan. Okay. Uh, maybe if they want to, they can mention it then whether they are going to announce or not. Okay. But tomorrow we'll know. Do you think that the, I mean, the word interim prime minister is good for the Pakatan Harapan in getting support and confidence yeah. from the general voters? I am 92 years old. This year I'll be 93. Obviously, I'm not going to be whatever prime minister or whatever until I'm 100 years old. <laughs> But uh, should should Pakatan Harapan use uh, interview or? Yeah, that's up to them. We are a free group. We have we can use whatever words we can, we want. Adakah polis TikTok ni tu nak mencari satu kata sepakat berkaitan dengan manifesto? Polis TikTok ni. Bon. Salah satu yang cari cara untuk tu mencari mafakatan untuk memilih pakai manifesto yang sesuai. Kita telah buat draft manifesto dan kebanyakan yang saya sebut adalah dari draft itu. Tetapi draft itu belum diluluskan lagi dan kita sedang kaji sama ada ada benda-benda uh, yang patut di fine tune ataupun dibatal dan sebagainya. Kita nak dengar pendapat rakyat kerana manifesto ini untuk rakyat bukan untuk uh, Pakatan Harapan. So ia akan dibicarakan dalam politik talk ni juga? Ataupun boleh kalau tanya ke saya boleh jawab saya jawab. Tak boleh jawab I raise my hand. Sorry. Bermana tidak bermana politik talk ni akan bercakap pasal isu dalam manifesto tu sendiri tapi dia ada satu isu lain yang akan dibicarakan. Semua boleh. Saya dah kata tadi boleh tanya semua. <laughs> Tentang apa nama mufti pun kena tanya-tanya lah. Ucapan terbaru-baru ni dari EGM ada menyentuh sedikit untuk restore the power of the judiciary. Jadi itu ada mengundang kritikan di sebelah sana. Sikit kita boleh komen pasal kembalikan kehakiman. Kehakiman? Ya. Kita dapati kadang-kadang benda yang jelas tak betul. Jadi dibuat keputusan. Jadi kita sangka mungkin ada pengaruh lain. Ha, dan kita tak nak kita tahu bahawa dalam demokrasi mesti diasingkan kuasa antara legislatif, eksekutif dengan kehakiman. Kalau sekarang ni kita nampak yang jelas ialah uh, 
legislative head boleh menguasai eksekutif untuk membuat perkara-perkara yang salah clearly salah umpamanya uh, pegawai tidak boleh sembunyi uh, evidence kita dapati ada empat uh, tiga buah laporan daripada Bank Negara MACC, PAC uh, dia ini disembunyi kita tak boleh sembunyi the sec uh, secrecy law is not about hiding uh, evidence of crimes it is about uh, wrongful use of po wrong policies which may not be necessary to announce to people like we are going to establish relation with some country uh, kita kena tunggu kemudian baru boleh kita release waktu ini dia secret lah tetapi ini jelas sekali Laporan berkenaan dengan jenayah yang dilakukan oleh Datuk Sri Najib disembunyi di bawah Official Secrets Act. Ini salah. Official Secrets Act bukan untuk sembunyi evidence of crime. Jadi kita dapati bahawa AG nampak buat salah benda yang salah tetapi dia salah guna kuasa pasal AG yang boleh bawa kes ke mahkamah ok minta maaf kan berbalik pada soalan tadi dia ada kritik antara kritikan tu ialah uh, peristiwa pengecatan Tun Saleh Abbas jadi mereka kritik Tun sebagai Tun Saleh Abbas was only not because of me unfortunately in order to save uh, the na good name of the young Dipertuan Agong the AG at that time uh, apa nama dia forgot this name guna nama saya kununya saya suruh saya tak tak ada cakap langsung kemudian baru saya tahu yang dia guna saya kunun suruh dia pecat, saya tak suruh saya berani junjung Quran masuklah misir dan bersumpah bahawa saya tak suruh dia sebut bahawa saya yang suruh yang suruh, yang dia bertuan aku but now of course the letter has uh, been hidden letter written by Saleh Abbas kepada yang di Pertuan Agong uh, complain pasal bising dan letter itu juga dihantar kepada semua raja-raja dan yang di Pertuan Agong amat marah, amat murka minta saya uh, buang uh, apa nama Saleh Abbas, saya kata tak boleh buang pasal dia kalau nak buang kena ada tribunal Agung kata aku buat, ya buat, buat tribunal so I, I was doing things that only the Agung can legitimize, saya sendiri tak boleh buat so, uh, I mean what you say just now, you have letter you say uh, that there was letter sent to Tun Saleh Abbas you have no, no, no. written uh, sent by Tun Saleh Abbas to the Agung okay. the letter complained because Saleh Abbas house is near the Agong's private house and they were doing some repairs to Agong's private house making a lot of noise and because of that Tun Saleh Abbas wrote a letter to the Agong <coughs> to ask him that they were making too much noise to okay. stop the noise but that is improper a senior officer must fit, go and meet the Agong and make his uh, request or whatever but this not only did he write to the ago but he actually sent copies of the letter to the other rulers okay. so, I, I know that uh, what you say whole wage whole wage but do you have any evidence to uh, substantiate uh, what you say I mean because you're blaming you were blaming uh, uh, the king for yes. the for that uh, crisis and then do you have any the, this letter of Saleh Abbas had something written by the king on the side and I took that to cabinet okay. yeah eventually when we decided to set up I had to discuss with cabinet cabinet said we cannot do it unless we set up a tribunal to set up the tribunal I had to get the permission of the king and after that 
the letter was given to the officials, but today the letter cannot be found. Uh, I mean, to in, pre, um, in many incidents, um, <coughs> people blame you, and then you came out and, and uh, uh, you came out and defended yourself with uh, several uh, excuse, and uh, I mean, or we look at that incident, including this uh, judiciary crisis. And then why were you uh, making uh, apology on that day? Because I made apology for all the mistakes that I may have made, made or which people perceive that I have made all the time I've been in politics. But not in this incident? It, it's up to them. They want to say, think it is about this incident, they can. Mamali? Mamali also, they can. They can I, I didn't, I didn't, I have my defense. Okay. But that does not mean that people will accept my defense. And then for us? Oh. <laughs> yes, yeah. They, they set up the RCI. Uh, okay, can, can you yourself uh, uh, give an example? Would you believe if I tell you the truth? You won't believe. I know, especially the opposition at that time will not believe. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was painted as a monster. Huh? Okay. And yet, I am now accepted by the people who painted me as a monster. Why do they accept me? Okay. Uh, on, on the 4th January Pakatan uh, Harapan Presidential Council, what are the issues that uh, will be discussed, including whether to announce uh, Prime Minister candidate? Well, you? I haven't seen the agenda, so I don't know. But you, you, you would I will you check. Yes, yes. Yeah. Sometimes the agenda comes the last minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, and also, uh, there, there was a report saying that uh, past ulama chief Sheikh Al Hadi, uh, Datuk Sri Hadi uh, Aman, Amanat in 1981, was very very because um, when the, the the country ruled by you uh, was anti-Islam at that time. So what is your defense? <laughs> yeah. the opposition always says nasty things about the government. And when the government replied, the opposition never accept. The people who uh, abuse Islam is Hadi. <coughs> Hadi, in his amana, stated that the government is a, a kafir government and that it is legitimate to fight. And if you die during the fighting, you go to heaven. That's why he was promising. And this is totally wrong against the teachings of Islam. And yet, uh, people who know the religion uh, just kept quiet. And uh, Hadi, uh, Hadi pledged to contest one, 136 parliamentary seats. Uh, where? How many? Uh, one, 130. This time? Yeah, coming. Yeah, we, Hadi knows very well most of the seats is going to lose, but he will be helping Najib win by splitting the opposition vote. That is his intention, and that is not very Islamic. In Malay, we call that Pekhiana. But why, why do you have to use such a serious word, Pekhiana? Yeah, because that is what he is. But, uh, isn't that I mean, he is going to go in and contest when he knows very well he is going to lose, but he knows the effect of his contest. Uh, can you understand what I say? Okay. Are you can, huh? When you... <laughs> because he goes in and contest to split the opposition board so that Najib will win. He himself will lose. He will, may win a few seats. You know when uh, uh, this uh, pass contested as pass without joining any coalition, they never won more than 11 seats. There was once when they won only one seat on their own. They only won when they joined the AP. Uh, with the AP, they won 21 and then 27 seats. So they, now they are going to go in alone. And alone they are going to lose. The, of the 130 or 1 million seats that they want to contest, they will lose all, but they will be helping their good friend, formerly the Kafir uh, from Amno, uh, 
Najib is a kafir lah, according to past. You see, uh, he is going to help this kafir, uh, which he says that if you work with kafir, you become kafir. So now that he is working with uh, Amno, uh, and at one time you work with DAP, uh, he he is kafiring himself. <laughs> Uh, I'm not used to be a lot with police report against you uh, for, uh, I mean, for instigating the people to topple Najib. <coughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's all over the world. People overthrow bad government. I'm not instigating anything. All I'm saying is that you have a bad government, overthrow it. It's democratic process. Uh, even in an uh, authoritarian country, uh, people try to overthrow the government. Okay. Yeah, but this uh, stupid boy who doesn't understand politics <laughs> reports that I'm trying to overthrow the government. Of course, I'm trying to overthrow. This is a kleptocratic government. You want it? This boy wants a kleptocrat because he, maybe he gets money from them. In your speech, you mentioned about the, that there is a risk for the country to become far more fleas. Yeah. Okay. So you know how much the government owes now? It's $900 billion. <coughs> some long term, some short term loan. And to pay that, if you cannot pay, you know, if you don't borrow money from the bank, you don't pay, they make you a uh, bankrupt. So the, you see what happened to Greece? Made a bankrupt country because he couldn't pay the loan. But here we have borrowed even more than Greece. And we are poorer than Greece. Can you get a final question before we wrap it up? Semalam ada ahli ketua bahagian terbelo dia buat report ke Rakyat Senyata kan bahawa AGN KBBM baru ni tidak sah kerana langgar perbagaan. Kita komen sikit. Sebabkan uh, senarai perwakilan yang muncul. Ya, tolong dia ni lah kata kat Ross. Cuba buat official statement. Kata pencuraian kita tak sah. Ross tak kata apa tapi orang ini lebih pandai daripada Ross. Disebabkan dia kata perwakilan tu tak muncul sebabkan uh, tiada mesyuarat uh, dia akan kita pakai dengan ni. Yalah itu Ross boleh tengok. Ada sebab-sebab. <laughs>